guys welcome back to the channel Theo here on today's video we are going to do a driving review of the Cayman S going to do a driving review observation of the Cayman S so I'm going to drive the car around I'm going to put it in normal mode sport sport plus modes hopefully you can see the dynamics how the car handles and also hear that flat six scream on the back one I will have it in sport plus so without further ado let's go the engine is warm so let's go ahead and start driving right now I will drive with the car in normal mode and I'm not gonna enable the exhaust. Hopefully you can hear the exhaust and the engine on the back. I have the GoPro mounted right here and I have this camera that I'm facing right here. So hopefully that will capture the sound that we get in the cabin and also you can see what's going on around. So let's go. Right now I'm in comfort mode. I'm just cruising. on the back in regular mode you don't have that and the exhaust is like the exhaust is also a little bit louder hopefully you can capture it and trust me that's not even the engine screaming because right now I'm still around 4,000 rpms for this engine to scream you have to cross 5,000 rpm let me see if I can get that for you that you saw it let me put on spot plus in spot plus now we have rev matching rev matching you know when a downshift is going to rev match for me the pedal is going to be even more sensitive and let's uh let's just play with that real quick 
and the exhaust also. to mention when you drive like I just did hard acceleration you get smiles per gallon so if gas passes are high we don't care we just want to drive this is why I will always mostly always want a petrol car I want an engine I don't want an electric nonsense those that like electric, that's for them. For me, I need to hear this. I need to hear the engine on the back screaming. Oh, actually you were still enabled. No wonder the engine was screaming. Exhaust is really loud. I have BSC exhaust. Imagine once I actually upgrade that to 
like a better exhaust that engine would be screaming even more now I'm just cruising normally like no one's business so let me actually uh, put that in spot plus shut up for a minute and uh, you guys just see me drive the dynamics of the car you saw how it handles in sport sport plus and normal mode you heard the engine last time you heard the exhaust when I did my previous video you heard the exhaust how it kind of sound on the outside and man this car is fun whenever you drive it corners you saw how I was taking the corner earlier at very very high speed and honestly this 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 is, is great it's great I don't know how I can put in for you to know that but it's superb and I love it. I love it so much. I hope you appreciate this review. This is a great car. If you want to purchase a Cayman, do not hesitate because it's a fun car. And trust me, although you only have two seats, but you and your significant other or your friend will really have a blast. Whenever you are driving, shifting the gears, I will always recommend the manual especially if you don't plan to take the car to the to the track now if you have a track of course you're chasing lap times the pdk will be the perfect you know choice for you because you cannot shift faster than the pdk but if you are the, like myself where you take your car on back roads and you don't always go to the track manual is fine because you can always enjoy the car even when you drive going to some places you know on, on the back road on a sunday going to car made you can enjoy it just like i did earlier now one thing i have to mention is that although there is a track version of the car gt4 you do not have to pay that premium price 100k you know to purchase the gt4 because the gts i mean all the s is giving you not as much joy because the engine has more power but similar kind of joy you know if you don't take your car to the track gt4 honestly is really if you are like a track focus you really want to go to the track that much or maybe if you just want to flaunt your money and you know buy but me i was trying to get something that is going to be best value for your money and i believe that the s is really that you know you have good enough power you have all the bits of suspension and then you have a nice ride now if i were to spec this car from factory I would definitely mention that I will have um, to have either PASM, but I believe I will have the X73 Sport suspension because that stiffens up things a little further, lowers the car 20 millimeters and gives you that excellent, perfect balance between, you know, street and track because it makes your car, it blends your car to be like a perfect balance. You can take it to the track and you can also drive it to the street. Now it's more like street, if you go to the track you know it's the suspension will be a little soft but you can always change the suspension on the car which is actually something that i'm planning to do so stay tuned to see all the transformation that i do on this specific cayman now on this note thank you again for watching if you watch all the way to the end make sure that you like make sure to subscribe because hey man that helps me out a lot it helps me grow and when i grow i can do more stuff like this so see you on the next video. Bye-bye.